So, um, I want to just hop on here and address some criticism that I've been hearing swirling in the community about my last video that I did on the uh, Trump assassination and the so-called lack of call to arms that I seemingly left out, you know, from the, from the video. And I would just like to point out that that was not intentional. I thought that the sentiment of that video, as well as the sentiment from many other previous videos that I've put out, conveyed that. But I apologize for not conveying that, as that video, much like this video, is completely unscripted. And I would just like to point out that just because I don't say something doesn't mean that the sentiment isn't there, that the intention isn't there. One of the things in particular that I would like to say is after an incident like this, after such a serious situation that we find ourselves in, specifically here in the States, Yes, I do agree that one of the things that we should do is arm up. We should prepare for a protracted people's war. Because essentially that is what awaits us in the future. The fact that the Democratic Party, just like they've always been, just like liberals have always been, are so goddamned cowardly to the point where they do not want to stop Joe Biden from running. Even though he looks like a befuddled old man, he looks senile, he looks sickly, and he just does not look like the, per the strong leader that the United States supposedly needs, or not even supposedly, that it needs and if it hopes to keep, you know, the any essence of the bourgeois facade alive. And that's why a lot of people are looking to Trump, because they see this man as frankly as a god many of the many of his supporters already see him as a god and that situation that incident that happened the other day is only going to bolster that support and that is that was what i mentioned in the video the only chance that the democrats have to win the election is if they remove Joe Biden and uh, run Kamala Harris in his place. That's the only way that they're going that we're going to see any any sort of democratic victory. But at this point the Democrats don't want to do that. The Democrats almost seem like they're intentionally trying to bomb this election. And honestly, it really wouldn't have mattered if if Trump was was assassinated or not, or if this incident even took place. With Joe Biden running, he was almost certainly guaranteed to win. But after this little display, yeah, it, it's going to have repercussions across the board. And, you know, by the, by the time January 2025 rolls around, you know, we'll, you know, that's the point where we are, we are definitely going to probably start seeing more and more draconian measures. The whole situation with Project 2025, that's been ongoing. That, that's not a situation that's anything new. But it is a situation that will 
you know, continue to play out and continue to probably get worse, especially now that he's appointed a very far right vice president. But to the people that critique me for not specifically stating or calling for for arms in that video, I do sincerely apologize. I thought the sentiment was already there, especially considering the sentiment in previous videos that followed up to that. But I would also like to offer a bit of a rebuttal to these same critics, um, these same critics who continue to harass me, harass my fellow comrades, when we are trying to actually talk on other issues going on in the world, when we are actually working with boots on the ground people who are actively involved in revolutionary activities, some of which are very underground revolutionary activities, some of whom are indigenous, some of whom are black bloc. These individuals are the ones putting their lives on the line for some of us that can't physically actually be there due to whatever factors, jobs, health, etc. We're actually out here trying to do work while certain individuals are out here holding backdoor meetings and criticizing and harassing and frankly distracting from our from our work from us actually talking about other things I agree there needs to be a form of a united front especially now more than ever but the problem here is is that certain individuals are so fixated on destroying other comrades than actually working with them or actually getting shit done. You talk a big game, but at the end of the day, it's all opportunism. You're not interested in a forming a united front. All you care about is how is this going to benefit you? And I am absolutely sick of that. I am sick of the hypocrisy.